Hello, and welcome to Date Night. I'm Chorpsaway. And I'm Devious Vacuum. And you are the stars, just in time for bow, 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 Drama bow, Alert bow, bow, Nation. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> welcome to Drama Night. Drama Whoa, Star Night. looks like some uh-ohs are happening on the internet lately. Whoa! Uh, Ray uh, says, please, Torps, your viewers are star for Kelly Hartoon content. I'm very sorry. There, There is no CG option for Butterfly Soup 2. That's your drama night persona. Is like we make yeah, a little, uh, yeah. you have like a little oh, ping tuber of the Ch Kelly Torps There you go. Away. All right. So what's up, everyone? This is my, <laughs> this is my drama alert sona. Welcome to drama <laughs> alert date night. Yeah, because you're like so over it. You know, you're like, yeah. ugh. More drama, am I right, folks? Right is right. Get a clue. Anyway, we were Anyways. just saying before the before the stream is that um, uh, nobody should ever uh, make porn of our avatars uh, and uh, <laughs> make deep fake porn of our LP sonas. That's right. Um, let 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 Kelly Sway say it perfectly. But if if you must draw a sexy fan art of my vacuum sona then you must tell me about it you must because then i don't have to pay for somebody else to do it <laughs> you must tell me you're you i'm pointing i'm holding a gun and pointing it at you and i'm saying you must tell me if you commission it then you have to send it to me that's it's that's the law you can't just you can't just have porn of my vacuum sona and not tell me about it. That's unfair to our parasocial relationship. I need to That's see it. <laughs> Rayday says Rayday threateningly says, "What if we do it and it's bad?" Again, I think I'll be the judge of that. Hey, how we all doing? Right. You excited for more butterfly soup? Last time, <laughs> student film. Yeah, it's time to premiere our our student film about saving the gray wolves. That's right. Which, which we learned right before stream. The gray wolves are yeah. endangered again. Again, for exactly the reasons outlined in this video. That's right. You know, what I have to say to them. What? Get a clue. So true. <laughs> we're not that. asking you to do drama alert. We we've done enough by vaguely referencing it yeah. in a we bit. Were, yeah, we were already joking that when I that if we did did a drama alert, I would have to stream it on my channel. Yeah, <laughs> that's where it belongs. Yeah, we're not actually doing any drama. No, there's too much drama. And none of it really matters. It's stupid. Yeah. Well, it's always stupid. Right. And sometimes it's funny, stupid, but that's not what we're here for. What we're here for is student films about the gray wolves, in which we also learned Menseo has a lot to get over in terms of, um, a, not even prejudice necessarily. I guess, like, her uninformed oh. opinions. Yeah, last time she realized that it's not just white people that can do a racism sometimes. Right, and, and like, like, it doesn't have to be malicious either, right? Like, clearly yeah. it's malicious against against them and a lot of the things that happen to them. But, like, you can also just accidentally be racist by just, like, wording th something incorrectly. Yeah, and that, you you know, that when that happens, she has to apologize. And, and also it maybe sort of recontextualizes interactions, especially with very young children that she had in the past, where it's like, oh, maybe they shouldn't just all, you know, die. <laughs> maybe it was a mistake and, you know. Well, not, I don't know. That kid That kid maybe should have gotten eaten by an That alligator. kid, yeah, no, I, I mean, I think... It's it's a it's a tough call. I don't I don't think that um, the kid you know I don't, I don't think the kid didn't need to go into the swamp. I think right. you know I think you that need was to have a come to God moment. Events. By God, I mean alligator. Yeah, but on the other hand, you know, kids that little are just repeating things they they hear from adults. So that you know the adult should also be swamped in this scenario. Mm hmm. But yeah, so that's that's been the major thing going on. Um, you know, we got a little more of Dia and kind of realizing her relationship with her parents and the way that, like, 
it's it's tragic that they that they can't really understand um, other perspectives because they've just been forced into this one particular one by the way that they were they were brought up. Yeah, I hope that Dia is able to make a little bit of progress with her mom by the end of the game. Our our big like hanging hanging threads here are Dia maybe being able to very barely start making a teensy bit of progress with her mom and Akarsha has a crush on Noel. That's right. And Noelle we're in Noel's doesn't perspective. Even know, yeah, Noel doesn't even know that uh, women can uh, that have, sex have sex until until 10 minutes ago. Right. She's now that, she's Googling She's it. that repressed. Yeah. And now she's probably about to Google it. Yeah. Let's find out now. Mm-hmm. This has been your drama alert. There's a snake. <laughs> drama There's alert. Snake. There's going to be a lot of drama in this uh, <laughs> in this chapter, probably. Yeah. And not being allowed to close your bedroom door, man. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. Cool. This is what I do when I need to know things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. She's just Akarsha like, claimed... Real? That Dia and Mensei were romantically evolved. I didn't know that was real. I had to look this up on Wikipedia. Imagine <laughs> the parents come in, they see that it's a purple link. iCat in the chat says, honestly, yeah, I did the same thing. Lamau. <laughs> Lol, Lamau. <laughs> I'm almost positive this Wikipedia page didn't talk about sex. <laughs> I would have remembered I, it. I'm smart. Um, ooh, wait, oh, ooh, oh uh, lesbian. This is, this is the most dangerous set of questions. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, yo, first time chatter. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> I do. Shut up. Thank you. I do want to go to dogehype.com and buy followers and views. <laughs> Thank you for banning them. <laughs> All you, right. you just you just love to stir up drama in That's the chat. Right. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Ray says this reminds me of when I was thirteen and I read the user submitted definitions of sex on Urban Dictionary to feel something. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Anyways, I hope she, she signed up for all lesbians have to be tragic because they were historically. I feel like a lot of people in our generation learned um, about like the concept of, of quote unquote how two women have sex from uh, crass comedy media directed at men. Yeah, probably. The finger. Oh my <laughs> god. Oh my god. Oh, here she goes. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Right, this is try bad as it means it's three times as bad. <laughs> oh, you got a speed read, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I love her. Incredible. <laughs> wow, she knew what she was talking about. That's crazy. Sorry, they. <laughs> is Noelle wrong? <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor baby. Noel, please, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> the classic line. The classic line. Min texts her like, I know. <laughs> so kind of looking up lesbians online, huh? <laughs> I'm I'm not looking through this. Actually, the stream's over, guys. I'm really sorry. 
We're actually stopping the stream right now. I gotta see the drawing. Fine. This is to the group! This is to the group it's the chat. Group chat. <laughs> oh my god, where's Sid? This is a real classified Sid moment. <laughs> Classic Sid moment. You love to see it. <laughs> Kiwi's right. She's trying to throw them off the trail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love them. Why are why are you like this? We all have some mutuals that would fuck DDD Wema cars. We're older and more honest with ourselves now. Airport. Oh. Oh shit. Oh. Okay. Noel uses punctuation in ch Twitch chat, said Cube. Unfortunately, <laughs> so do I. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh man, do we get to have this discussion? Oh, I guess we do. This was in the this was in the list of um this is in the list yeah. of uh like content warnings. Oh my god. To be fair, at what? 15? Oh, yeah, 15. I don't know. <laughs> These are my last words? <laughs> Yeah, I bet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I fucking bet. <laughs> Why, though? You know, to be- to ask this many questions at 15, and, you know, it's impressive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> at 15, I would hear someone say something, and I'd go, okay. I would just believe it. You know? <laughs> Mhm. Mm <laughs> mhm. Mm True. <laughs> oh, I see. You know? They're just kids. Yeah. You can tell that they're that they're very at the very least very strong friends because Noel will just keep going. You saw mm -hmm. that Men and Dia left this chat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, true.
terrifying. This is the scariest thing that <laughs> she could send. <laughs> Incredible. Be something stupid. <laughs> I mean, was it was it wrong? <laughs> Sid says, I had a coworker in retail ask me once if I spoke Indian. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Because the school gives you a sticker. The school gives it to you. What are you going to do? Be like, that's stupid. This is so cool. Oh my god. This rocks. I actually this this has the same energy as those fucking bumper stickers that are like, my T-Rex hates your stick figure family. Or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Right, it says Noelle would absolutely have a my dog is smarter than your honor student bumper sticker. And you know what would be fucked up? <laughs> She'd be right. <laughs> Lohakamati says, hey, Noelle, stop being every part of myself that I hate. <laughs> <laughs> Same. Well, unfortunately, they spent several more years <laughs> learning a different <laughs> language. <laughs> Even though I have a PhD, I see it runs in the family. <laughs> <laughs> of course. This is how I should punct I should start punctuating things. Academia Even though I have a master's a, degree. It's a disease you can pass on genetically to your yeah. children. Even though my average G GPA was 4.5, I, I I just I just can't understand how to <laughs> how to make pasta. <laughs> QB points out that this might not even be a language barrier issue. The airport parking is just incredibly confusing. To be, yeah, to be fair, if you've ever been in an airport, it sucks. Yeah. Like, no airport is actually built to be driven around. Yeah. Margie Archie says, I work at an airport and I can't get to the roads around it. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? Yeah, I guess the under the misunderstanding is it'd be more expensive, oh. right? Well, also, you're not going to miss your flight. I'm guessing this is a family that shows up like three hours early. Yeah, I was going to say, there's no way that they're not at least showing up the full hour early, yeah. right? Yeah, especially for an international flight. Oh! <gasps> 
Oh, okay, they made it. Hmm. I almost thought that was gonna be like a bit where 16 hours later they still hadn't found <laughs> the parking spot. <laughs> they made it. Kiwi notes, I think this is heavily answering the question I asked last week about what generation of immigrant her parents were. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, we're getting a lesson. I think the yellow subtitles really make this game something. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're cute. Hmm. Family. He only knows three languages. <sighs> oh boy. This is this this is also the thing. Uh, it's very um I guess interesting about outside of America is everyone just kinda knows more languages than Americans. Mm -hmm. We're the we're the only conceited <laughs> Well, if you don't, if you don't grow up in, around other people like using the language, yeah, then it's impossible, I think. Yeah. And we're we're not necessarily a melting pot in the same way that Europe is. Yeah, you have to. Ha. <laughs> Literature. I guess that's the thing, though, right? Also, like in other uh, in other uh, languages, often their names are like, you know, characters that, like, especially in like um, in Asian ones, it's like their characters mean something. You know, you pick a yes, you get a name that's a little more personal in that way. I guess. Yeah, Rady also knows the use of a different font to to imply the difference in, I guess, like languages is very uh <laughs> is very cool. It's a nice touch. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Grandpa says indecipherable. <laughs> That's right. Like, you know, at some point, at some point, everyone's grandpa just becomes Charlie Brown. <laughs> oh, character set not found in <laughs> Red Pie. <laughs> Ray Day says, I think it makes the Metal Gear sound. <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> hmm. Getting a little bit of a cultural melting pot. I feel like a lot has been borrowed in that way. <laughs> so much that the Chinese want to claim kimchi as their own now. Did you did oh, you hear shit. about that when it was happening? No. Oh yeah, so because so much of Drama alert! Yeah, sorry, drama alert! <laughs> so because so much of um kimchi um I guess like production and distribution moved to China. China at one point started to um, claim it as their own national dish instead of Korea. That's weird. And I feel like it's one. It, it and I think it's a still a thing that's kind of ongoing. It was just much bigger when it was first happening, and it was much louder. Sort of the descent. That's cringe. Unlike kimchi, which is based. That's right. Thank you. Damn, all right. That feel when? Unfortunately, that, that, that this one's normal. This one's just normal everywhere. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Noel. Mm hmm I don't know, I just feel like she'd ask about her book first. Yeah. For Noel Noel behavior? Yeah. Yeah, ask Noel behavior. <laughs> it's Dostoevsky. Oh no. What I'm trying to think what what it's like crime and punishment, uh the Lolita, uh I'm sure we're about to find out. Well, Goncharov's <laughs> scrolls oh! back in. Something, some brothers. It's um, what's the, what's the title? Oh, the brothers uh, Karamazov. Thank says you, Mar. Yep, Margie Argy says it. Thank you. They really are a little too similar. <laughs> That's adorable. Maybe they'll be friends. <laughs> Another problem is that she speaks with such a large vocabulary and that's like not also not not good when you're talking to someone who doesn't speak your language very well yeah hopefully hopefully she understands enough english i also do this this is very tough for me like to like limit my my syntax like limit my the my word choice um when i'm speaking to someone who is not as good with english mm -hmm. become friends and like stay friends that would be really cute for you know for her to have that connection yeah <laughs> oh, should we ask about the photos on the wall now um yes I feel like they will become closer friends <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about the photos. Aww. Oh, how cute. Bird.
hanging out. Yeah. <gasps> oh. No, you got to do these ones first. Yeah! <gasps> yeah! Yes! Yes! and Chen Hua fall in love. Terrifying. What if that was, it was like a, it was like a near miss destiny kind of a thing. <laughs> and she ends up coming to the US for, for college and they go to college together and get married. My God. Oh, this is cool. Kiwi's right, an anime ambassador of sorts. <laughs> that they kept it too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, unfortunately, unless you become a poet laureate, there's not a lot of not a lot of opportunities unless you get into something else too, you know? Yeah. I mean, I guess you would have to like go into academia, you know? Yeah. Teaching. She doesn't know. In chat, she doesn't know. She lacks the critical information. Keep it says that's just Bart, Noel. Very true! God. Amazing. Oh it's my the Bart. god! It's right the there. Call out post for the Bart, folks. Uh, drama alert. <laughs> the Bart. People don't like but it, in folks. Public transit was normal. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Leaps. Yeah. Why did it leap? Mm. That Wikipedia page didn't awaken anything and you did it. <laughs> <laughs> Real cryptid <laughs> moments.
<laughs> I'm so sad that this dates the this dates the thing because Fry's Electronics doesn't exist anymore. Rip and rip and piss. Fry's but also, Electronics. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Every every sentence like a knife. What if Butterfly Soup Modern Akarsha by Orange Box? <laughs> Akarsha by Half Life Alex VR. <laughs> it's not like other games where Earth some guy shooting stuff. That's very <laughs> true about video games. Yeah, it's puzzle. Yeah. Kiwi says buying Portal at Fry's dates this to like a two month period. <laughs> it is. It's oh true. shit! She's gonna love it. Yeah, Noelle would like. Yeah. She's gonna love the humor in it as well. Yeah. Oh, Kiwi's right. Portal 2? They'll play co-op. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Akarsha would be credits. a nightmare co-op partner. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah, well, that's because of how you dress. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there there are reasons, but the the, the feeling that you know the the sentiment is understood. Yeah, but also from the, the fact that you're covered in highlighter colors. Come on, yeah. Karsha, you're wearing a puffer jacket. <laughs> is that bad? Is that is that the bad way to use the screen? Is that is that Wow, what the fuck? That's so sad. You know, you understand a lot more about <laughs> Oh. decisions, Mom. I don't know. I mean, fair. It sucks that her friends did that, you know? Yeah, it does, but that's a really mean thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> First time chat, Choco Pup 100. It's my goal to crochet that freaking windbreaker. That, <laughs> that's a real fucking goal. Hell yeah, gamers. <laughs> to be fair, Damn, um, yeah. When, when her mom would have moved, it's not like long distance calling or like instantaneous text would have been possible so it would have been rough regardless you know yeah that's one I mean, big benefit you know we, we we say a lot of things about the internet here but that's one big benefit yeah it's it's different you can keep up with people a lot easier <clears throat> but also i mean i think noelle has a point in being like look like you knew what like what you were getting into like this is you chose yeah. to do this you could have gone back you could have like there's other options that she had yeah um, no for sure you know over the whole course of noelle's life right like the both of them had other options that they could do to change their lives it might mean they don't make as much money or they might struggle in other ways but you know it's not like yeah. one or the other <laughs> also just want to note yeah, a hideous pair of beige pants. This would complement many items in my wardrobe. <laughs> it's great. Good. Okay. Basically there. Oh 
Oh, you're and you're supposed to haggle, right? And she doesn't haggle. Yeah. Still seven dollars for pants. Couldn't get that in America. Yeah. Damn, six years. Kiwi says, this is also part of the experience. Buy bootleg Wii games on the street for one dollar a disc. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I think, you know, I think that's a Hell good yeah. thing to come into this with, right? It's also interesting to see how Noelle um, thinks about herself in her own inner monologue, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if she had more confidence um, or was a little older, maybe, you know, she she could be like reaching out to other people to ask them, you know, and yeah. like kind of making it more of a like, a you know, more of a, a positive, like funny kind of experience. Yeah. And I think that you just wouldn't be so harsh on yourself, right? Yeah. Also, since says, I remember seeing a handmade bag in India that said 9-11 never forget, but the scene they intricately wove by hand had deflected <laughs> collision. <laughs> <laughs> That's really and you didn't get it? Wow, well, his parents probably didn't let him. Oof. Oof. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh my god, because they know. Why? Why is... They're so negative, right? Like, right. They, they're also, they're not, like, trying to involve her in what's going on. And Noelle's a child, right? Like, that's the thing. Is like, it's not a two-way yeah. street. The parents could be setting the tone for how she's supposed to interact, and they're just being negative all the time. Right, because they already know. You're gonna have to learn to cook it.
Oh, oops. Let me let me fix that one. Hmm. You know, it sucks to uh, communicate like a decade too late. Yeah. Not necessarily true, but she she would have been able to grow out of the accent if she did have one. Certainly, when she was very little, yeah. But I mean, obviously, as the adults, like it's not it's really inappropriate for them to be like mad at her, or disappointed in her, like for decisions that they made as parents when she was a kid. When you're, you know, when you're little, you don't have autonomy. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, and they could be turning it around, but instead they're focusing on the negatives, right? Like they can't go back in the past. They can only move forward. So moving yeah. forward, you could say you could incorporate like the family and stuff. And, and even in the conversations you're having while on this vacation to helping her learn and phrases and helping correct her pronunciation and making it a positive thing. But they're not. They're just sitting there silently judging her and only saying negative things to her. Yeah. Yeah. What a way to start out. <laughs> hey, Buddha. Uh, what a way, if that is what a your way real to name. Put it. Yeah, what a way to put it. Yeah, also I'm sure from like the rest of the family's perspective, it's I mean, no nobody's like, "Oh, why it must be your child's fault that it's this way." They're all <laughs> looking to her parents and being like, "Hey, hey, what hey, this sucks. Hey, this wasn't yeah. a good call." I just give him a hug. Yeah, no one on the on the Taiwan side of the family has anything mean to say about Noel. The other have all been very nice. Yeah. It's 
Okay. <laughs> I knew it. It's very exclusive. I mean, the issue is that, yeah, as you can see, it's like, there's only so much space. Someone's got to <laughs> take them up eventually, right? <laughs> if you want to be next to them, right? <laughs> Things well, I know. Now. I just know this. I also looked this up on Wikipedia and then deleted my history. <laughs> Oh my god, Noel. I guess it, it, no no better time to think about this. But Noel, you are also 15. You have a lot of time. Yeah, you got a lot of time. You got a lot of time. Damn, she she, she just like me for real. This is right. This is a very teen thought to have. You know, sometimes you're yeah. just like, am I too callous? Because I'm a teen and I don't <laughs> feel things as strongly. It's like, you know why? It's because yeah. you're a teen and you don't know anything. Or you feel things too strongly and you're like, am I the only person who ever felt this way? God, it like, yes. sucks being a teenager. You're actually the only person. You're very unique. <laughs> but no, that's not true, you know. Please, she's she's got a she's got a friend Chen Hua on on in the internet. Yeah, she's got a. We got we got to exchange tech, you know, it's phone numbers. Please, something. invite her to the group chat. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Who's DDD? <laughs> oh my god, she'd have to learn how to read fucking texts. Yeah, it would be good. At, it would be at, important for her to learn English. She'd learn the worst English possible. Yeah, at the very least, talking to Noel, it's like, oh, you get full sentences, right? Yeah. Offer her your phone number. Please. Please. Kimi says, add me on the anime sub forum. <laughs> Take a picture with your phone. Take a picture of the poem. Or maybe she'll ask her to, to explain it, right? Let's see. Oh, All shit. Right, we're just we go. going through a dictionary. Yeah, let's go. It's not going to make any sense because it's a poem. But you can at least get the f feeling, right? I hope so. Once you get once you get the words down, I think you can get the full. <laughs> I will just simply learn another language. Hmm. <laughs> exactly. Uh, easy. Nice. <laughs> Ray Day says, what are these fucking definitions on this page? And I will note one of them says ringworm, a scab <laughs> mite. <laughs> Next to a scar, a birthmark. Yeah. A birthmark at the temple considered undesirable for a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Much to consider. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah, but she lacks the the cultural the critical context information. For the poem. Oh wait, Ray says. Column to the left. There's a pimple. 
Oh yeah, right there. Cool. <laughs> I don't know how else to respond to that. That's too yes, please help. erupting in the chat. That one might be a little closer. Hmm. That's probably more Aww. true, though. Uh oh. Yeah, because cars parked. Here we are in nightmare zone. You can hear the sirens going off like it's fucking Silent Hill. That's what it's like being on the part. <laughs> What? What? <laughs> Hello? Kiwi says this is literally the sound the bar makes. I'm fucking dying. <laughs> <laughs> These fucking sounds are recorded on the Bart. Kiwi's having war flashbacks. <laughs> <laughs> Unintelligible. <laughs> Wait, excuse me. Wait, hold up. Hold up. <laughs> hold up. Resident Evil Biohazard? No. It turns out the Bart went to Raccoon City. <laughs> oh, no. Thank you. 
Also, Noelle is constantly translating and informing her parents of things. And she's, even though in her head she's thinking mean thoughts, she's not speaking to them in a rude way. Yeah. So I feel like they could have done the same thing for her. Yeah. <laughs> please. Noelle's mom, please don't. Please. <laughs> Please, not this. <laughs> Ugh. I mean, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, well, Moxie notes, you and Noelle could be psychically linked and you still wouldn't be able to communicate with her. Yeah. It's <laughs> a lot. The scroll token notes, it's neat, the parallels. Dia's mom also doesn't realize that Dia is American. Yeah. That's that's kind of the that's the thing, right? The experience. Yeah. The question is, what what did you think? <laughs> All right. Oh my god. Getting a little political on the stream. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> idea <laughs> look you know no you know noel's got the book smarts right he's intelligent not quite as smart mm-hmm People are always saying this. <laughs> I love that you can tell with her shoes, too, that she can only fit it through one of the loops. It's, it's good. You would just buy longer shoelaces, then. Oh, sorry, she said no. Yeah, obviously. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> a car 
suspicious face. Yeah, like, oh, y yikes. <laughs> Damn, it's an everywhere thing? That's crazy. Damn, the whole world? Damn, the whole world? Weird. Who could be responsible for this? <laughs> That's a great question. I guess we'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> this is the don't look up colonialism challenge. <laughs> this is what true bond is friends is like. <laughs> Oh a car my should god. spit in facts. Ugh. Oh my god. A car should, please. <laughs> but also, what the fuck, man? Kiwi's right. Put that on the box with the game. This is just like high school. Wait, hold up. Hold up, she's spitting. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot about the name of our baseball team. God, I love gaming. Gaming. <laughs> Scroll talking says, Noelle. I can't not date her after that. <laughs> Man, this sucks. Apparently only one high school wants to, wants to go against them. But I guess if they're not like a real team, right? They're not like a coach. I guess they can't be really sanctioned in that way. Oh, fair enough. That too. Mm. <laughs> and we lied. We were <laughs> lying. <laughs> Everyone be normal. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, you know, some things some things take longer to die. Amazing. I do like that she has a matching headscarf for um for the for the team uniform. Yeah, it's good. Very fashionable. Yeah. The killer whales! Oh my gosh. It's great. Thanks, thanks, Jen. There he is. So scared to find out yeah. who it is if it's someone we know. <laughs> we don't know any boys. It's true. That's why I was like, is this someone who we know? Driving. I uh -oh. guess they're in high school, right? It has to be an older. Mm-hmm. Well. Very true, Akarsha. Yeah, I've gotta be responsible. <laughs> they made up a making <laughs> up a making up a guy. I love the that. It's the classic move. You just make up a guy. Yeah. <laughs> Marjorie Jesus says, tried to take the Bart this time and was never seen again. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Here it comes. Oh. I'm taking I AP Psych. Is the, this is the scariest thing you could start a sentence with. Incredible. <laughs> Although, I mean, she look, might have is a she point wrong? No, is this she correct? Particular thing. No. Yeah, that too. <laughs> Damn! Damn! Damn. point <laughs> teens when they read their first book <laughs> in my AP psychology class we just like learned a bunch of definitions and then watched uh, the butterfly effect for some reason ah cool that rocks <laughs> I, you know that is I, that is a movie that you should show in AP Psych because it will do psychological damage to you. <laughs> it did. It did. It did. Yeah. I did have psychological damage after that. Yeah. <laughs> oh my Everyone's god! Everyone's debating the Mega Mind reference and whether it was a reference. I don't think it was a reference. No. Okay. Mega Mind was out in 2010. I think it that it was a, a mega mind the... genius or whatever. Yeah. It's not, yeah, not a reference. Sorry. Sorry, y'all. Mega mind pilled. Yeah. I've never seen Mega Mind. That's all right. People, people will see a story with Maple Story in it and go, "Is that also a Mega Mind reference?" <laughs> Oh, she's short stop? Yeah. like two people in a group if only there was a word for that some sort of <laughs> some sort of Fucking go! Got him. Got him. <laughs> oh. And just like um, I can <laughs> grow up. <laughs> Min lucid dreams every night with perfect clarity. That's right, skill issue, as the kids say. <laughs> Egad. Egad.
Damn! New guy alert. New guy just oh my dropped. God, the hairstyle. It, it's you know, it's right. It's perfect. Mm -mm. This is it's what guys Sokka, look like. Sokka says Rayne. Oh my god, it is. <laughs> I can't believe they brought in Sokka. Yo, reference. Yo, <laughs> that one's a reference. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, clearly. What else Saban, would you do in this are you okay? <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> yeah, he's getting more Sokka by the minute. Okay, well that's not that bad. Gibby says, this is your secret weapon? Yes, he's going to drive the car onto the field. That's how they win. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely getting boy Akarsha vibes from this from this boy. I think he's wait no, because I think he's unintentionally doing it. I think he's just a mess. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see. This is just Sokka. I think he's just a mess. <laughs> no? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> he better be good at baseball. Damn. Damn, damn, is that the pot? <laughs> Look, he, he, he specked all his stats into baseball. He forgot to put any into, you know, like common sense. It's okay. Sub Zero! Oh my oh, god! Not just like Mortal Kombat. Because <laughs> I'm so oh my cool. God. <laughs> Everyone wants to be Sub Zero. Hmm. Uh, that's Imba. Um, that's OP. Uh, Nerf. Mm -hmm. uh... God, so true. Very true. See, that's the thing about baseball. It's the perfect sport for cheaters. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's about micro advantage. Kiwi says Liz just saw Moneyball. <laughs> that's right. She's also training eating an entire hot dog. <laughs> that's my that's the only thing I know about Moneyball, and it makes it like one of my favorite movies. <laughs> that every time they did that shot, Brad Pitt would just eat an entire hot dog, and so he ate like 20 in a row. Oh my god. I think you could have had a chance at the Nathan's uh, Nathan's challenge. Ah, cool, does he yell when he runs? That's cool. Ah! <laughs> 
<laughs> Got him! <laughs> Got him! <laughs> Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Skiwi says fatality. Oh my god, she's just stealing the same nickname. Alright, I gotta go to the bathroom real quick and then we'll continue. We got a break. This is the seventh inning stretch. Hold on. Alright. What, um... What other Mortal Kombat character should Akarsha have as her nickname? Scorpion, right? Obviously. I say it and I already know the answer. Akarsha would be Johnny Cage. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, apparently it's 2007, which is the year that I graduated high school, so... All these kids are the same age as my brother. Which means they were born in 1992. Games released in 2007. Super Mario Galaxy. A banger. Sonic 2006 was out in 2007. That's true. Top Halo 10 3. games released in 2007. Number 10. Super Mario Galaxy. <laughs> you don't want to be caught traveling the galaxy without your friend Mario. The original Bioshock came out in 2007. Anyways, the Mortal Kombat character I would want to be named after is Mocap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's best friends with Johnny Cage and he's just a guy in a Mocap suit. I think they later yeah. made him like an actual story character. I think he has like magic powers, but he's just a guy. Great. All right, anyways. I love I'm fighting game sides. lore. Yeah. There's a lot of it. In all, you know, there, there's a lot of games with a lot of lore in them. Mortal <laughs> Kombat's one of them. Hmm. No, Ray Day says Stranglehold came out in 2007. Hmm. That's fucking right. <laughs> I'm wearing a little cap. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, Noelle. Noelle's having a, a bit of a crisis. <laughs> God is nuts. Every sense that Akarsha says is a sense that could come from my mine own best friend, Sid, internet bean splash, and I, every time it fucking hits me in, <laughs> in the stomach. this feeling be it must be Not uncontrollable that. rage the poster's lament this is this, this is see what's great about this is noelle just doesn't understand romance at all so it's like what is this feeling it must be bad it must be a yeah. bad feeling i know poor baby it's very funny
lost in the sauce. What kind of sauce? That's right, it's balls sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. I thought she was actually going to say it, and I was going to shit myself. Got it literally. <laughs> I have to find out who gets against the rules. It is, by the way. Oh my god, yeah, obviously. Oh my god. Maybe it's different in high school, I guess. Because I'm pretty sure the That's intentional true. thing is definitely not true in pro baseball. Yeah. Because otherwise they do it all the time. Right. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Incredible. Hmm. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, he's about to get hit, yeah. <laughs> Man getting beamed. She's right. I love the Akarsha theme song music. Go Noel! Damn. <laughs> My hubris. Hmm. <laughs> God. Like, you know, one step at a time. Damn! <laughs> calling him so zero. It's great. <laughs> oh no. I like that Noelle's trying, you know? Yeah. We gotta do it. Call her! <laughs> oh 
<laughs> oh, hey, that's me! We had to do it. Oh my god. <laughs> Gomen Asari? Oh my god. Dotted by Yolo? <laughs> Uh, best friends. Oh my god, here we go. There's making shit up, but, you know, it's something yes. to consider. Yes. Haha, <laughs> 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 ha. anyways. Did you know people die in car accidents all the time? <laughs> <laughs> I just thought that was interesting. <laughs> it really is that moment. TV slash drinking with skeletons later. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> For those that don't know, friend of the show drinking with skeletons has a challenge where you just start a fight on <laughs> on Twitter <laughs> over anything, and once yeah, they're mad enough, yeah, you try your hardest. You go. Yeah, you really try your hard. hardest. You're you're really baiting them. As soon as they get really pissed off, you just type in asterisk like it's a like it's a you know like it's an emotion. You do shits your pants, and then you just end it. <laughs> yeah. And then you have to take a screenshot and send it and to send it to uh, tweet it send to, it to him. at Jordan underscore DWS on Twitter. Yeah. And Akarsh has got that same vibe. Your pants can't wait for my pee. <laughs> Pease your pants. <laughs> She's trying to confuse you. Look, I see people in the chat asking what this means. Let's just say <laughs> that horses won't be called horses after Akarsha's done here on the, bay, <laughs> on the plate. Oh my god, Akarsha's really good at inflicting status effects. <laughs> and that's the thing, right? You got if if you're not if you're not strong enough, you have to use debuffs. Yeah, true. She's the she's the black mage of the team. That's right. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh 
me coma. Damn. <laughs> Scroll token says, I want a butterfly soup JRP, and you know what? That'd be great. God, so true. So true. I don't think this is how this is supposed to play out. <laughs> it's all falling apart! I mean, Dia could steal. Yeah. But she still has to, but, um... Of course she still has to make it to base. Incredible. <laughs> what a game. <laughs> Truly incredible. Yeah, unbelievable plays tonight. Oh no! <gasps> oh no! Ouch, ouch, ouch! Oh shit. Oh shit. <gasps> She's crying! This is so stupid. <laughs> so right. on, I think you mean Sub Zero. Who's the real Yeah, you're right. I'm, so now. I'm sorry. Azure Petricor? I apologize if yep. I mispronounced that. Okay. But yeah, no, you're correct. I apologize. I meant Sub Zero. I think we all mean Sub Zero. Isn't Petricor like the smell of the ground after it rains? Maybe. Yes. Okay. <laughs> look also, at look at this is so sweet. Oh. Also, being slash right, this has retracted the Sub Zero nickname. Yeah, she can't be Sub Zero now. Ha! Cringe. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> He's now super zero. <laughs> Level up. Confirmed. Oh, it is 2009! Confirmed. God, they're even younger than that. They were born in 1994. Folks. Mark Giorgi says, wait, what game came out in 1934? <laughs> wow. Yeah, baseball came out that year. I was thinking the whole time. <laughs> oh, oh, just admit it.
To be fair, that was mostly a regular game of baseball. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Travisy, tell me more, haha. <laughs> Sub Zero, please. Oh my god. No! My man. Don't say gotta that. Gotta calm down. Ah, <laughs> no! It's her tears. Oh, my God. Oh my God. I learned what lesbians were on Wikipedia. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. It says, is this tribalism? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Incredible. My <laughs> Grab this one, this folks. Time. Th this one feels applicable for everyone. <laughs> Are they gonna watch the movie? When did they watch the movie? Wait. Yeah. It must have been over the break. Like, you know, Noelle's already been out for a week, so. She was already out for a war that, oh man, we missed it. Tragic. Yeah, I guess we didn't get to watch it yeah. with everyone. It's Fafnir says, excuse me, if a car should try juggling five bowling pins, she'd manage to hit herself with six bowling pins. Very true. <laughs> yeah, the bowling pins would go out of frame and then they would fall and hit her and there would be more. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my... Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> we're doing this. I mean, to be fair, it was 2009. That's what we were doing, right? That's that's all we god. did. A car. She uses her powers for evil <laughs> so much. <laughs> oh fucking no! <laughs> <laughs> I keep looking at girl. Must oh be villain. Oh my god! Coach Leafy says, what a weird post to be in the nurse's office. Correct! <laughs> <gasps> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what it would do? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> oh my no, god. So funny. No, also silly.
couldn't be it couldn't be a deeper feeling. It must be a defense mechanism where I need to pounce on her to stop her from attacking me. Oh my me. god. Has it have any of you done this? No. I feel like I was very calculating when I also like first experienced attraction, but maybe because it was attraction to men that I was like I was I was like overly like analytical about it, but like the conclusion was obvious. No, I have. I've never seen someone angry horny before. <laughs> also, if she, if she kisses her, she won't be able to talk. Very true. <laughs> There's an idea. <laughs> I'm just I'm just being too much of a goofball. It's too but it's a little <laughs> too silly. Oh my god. <laughs> Me to the woman I love. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> you you literally said it. Noel. It can't possibly be. Oh my be. god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! I have no intention of being in a homosexual uh, relationship. I love her. <laughs> Even now that I know that two women can't have sex, it would never change anything <laughs> about my feelings. Uh... You know, I can't... 2009. I, I can't say that she's, like, wrong to feel this way. <laughs> Rene says this game actually takes place in 2023. That's right. Butterfly Soup 2 is a freaking documentary. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Aww. Yeah! Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> like a celebrity now. Oh my god. Please tell me we get to see a picture. <laughs> True. This is very true. Yeah. I was in an incomprehensible movie with my friends in high school. I did a lot of incomprehensible things. There was not a movie, though. We also started but failed to complete a parody of Pirates of the Caribbean <gasps> called Carrots of the Pyrobean, where people okay. turned into carrots yeah, yeah, yeah. instead of skeletons. That's that my rocks. story. Also, they said, is that Noel? You know who that means. You know who's here. Oh, okay, I thought it was gonna be. Uh, I thought it was gonna be like for the multicultural one that um, her cousin showed up. Oh God, that would be funny. <laughs> right, because she's just working off oh, of her boy. friends. Yeah. Oh my God. Because <laughs> she's oh albino. Oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, it's Dia. Oh, wait, someone on a comment? <laughs> <laughs> God of Halo! <laughs> God, that's so funny. <gasps> Oh, 
Oh my god. Brakes are so cool. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I wish people reacted to the comic this way when I was in school. Noel, please. Also, Ray Day points out, cosplaying as your characters is literally just cosplaying as your friends. Just color swapped. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're complicating things again. Noel. Ah. <laughs> no, see, it had to happen by the laws of nature. <laughs> I can obviously control my emotions, especially ones Unlike that aren't Min. useful to me. This is this is what I do in class when I think about all the things I want to do yeah. to Akarsha. It's me controlling my feelings. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I Well, I I guess. <laughs> oh my god, my boyfriend oh. is always saying this. Also, I like that um Noel and Akarsha have picked the opposite sides to yeah. and maybe the wrong sides for them, which is even better. Yes, yes, it's great. Ooh, you know, this that's is, a good this one. What, this is what Taylor Swift, Swift means in her song when she says, wreck my plans. Very true. She wrote it about butterfly soup, too. But, but you know, this is a good conversation to have with Dia. Yeah, no, this, this is right, yeah. Don't they already do that anyway? <laughs> Very true. <laughs> Squirrel Duncan says, I think Akarsha could give you children. Just don't ask where they came from. Also, run faster. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Damn. Oh, like Akarsha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. That's good, too. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, here we are. <laughs> Battle says, hey Dia, how do you know if you're a lesbian? <laughs>
Hell yeah. <laughs> Pub. <laughs> Hell yeah. What are those? Uh, it's sort of like sushi. It's kind of a higher rice bed, um, and then it's like a, some type of topping wrapped in a larger piece of seaweed. Mm. Usually you'll see it with like spam. I think that's the more popular one is like a spam musubi. Oh, yum. Spooshy. But don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Yum. They make it themselves or order it? I mean, they're in San Francisco. I guess they might it's... be able to order it. They might be able to order it. It seems like some of them would make it, but I don't know. Oh! She's doing it so that they can sit next to each other. She knows. See, ah. Dia, Dia ah. is able to perceive. Oh, Menseo is not able to perceive. Men, please, it's a oh, fucking they're secret. Gonna, they're, they're corroborating, they're corroborating, they're corroborating! Yeah? Dia has the brain cell right now. Yeah, Dia, Dia is the only one with emotional intelligence. Very true. Uh. Uh, it's the ovary, right? Yeah. God, I didn't expect to have to be. It's not the petal, right? I'm just like, oh, I have to, I have to brush up on my biology from high hmm. school. <laughs> <laughs> Got <Balls>. her again. <laughs> cool. Oh my God. That's so cool. <laughs> Ray is right. This is the fir this is the first time anyone's ever have to s had to select over <laughs> in a visual novel. More visual novels should teach you about uh, anatomy. Yeah. Truly a subversive visual novel. <gasps> Also. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, she's she's losing it. She's spiraling. She, she has she has spiraled. They'll invent Duolingo. Yeah, you don't even know. Duolingo is hot on its way. Yeah. <laughs> Get her. Get her ass. Oh 
my god. What did you think? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Oh my god, yeah! I knew it! I knew it! You knew it. it! You fucking called it! This is a triumph! Oh my god! The car should oh shut the god. fuck up! <laughs> oh my god! Karsha? <gasps> oh my god. Uh, I'm glad I wasn't in high school when K pop. <laughs> oh, did they both fall asleep? Oh, okay. Oh my god. That's cute. Oh my god. Guys, come on. Come on. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta look like I fucking hate it when I look at her. Because <laughs> oh I can't stop staring. No, I'll do it. Oh my god. Is she going to be truthful? <laughs> She's trying so hard. Oh my god! Any minute now. Any minute now! Any minute now! Noelle's about to get obliterated. Your motherfucking life ends 30 minutes from now. Very true. So true. Find out by joining us every Tuesday night. <laughs> oh, balls. Oh, my God. Oh, balls. Worst in the world. <laughs> oh my god, Dia's recruited men! Oh. They talked about it! They've, they've aligned! And Min is doing it so bad. Oh. Oh my god! Look at, look at Dia and Min looking at each other knowingly. They know. They're trying to give a high five between... Butterfly. It's <laughs> a reference. Hmm. Oh 
Oh my god! Grow up! Oh my god. Hmm. <laughs> of course Noelle has red can't. Yeah. Oh shit! Oh my god! <laughs> this is the real multicultural it's festival. It's them! It's butterfly soup! It is, that's me. I'm a beta reader. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh my god. I just want to note Matt Mahollin's My Heart Will Go On Recorder by Candlelight got me copyright struck. That's so funny. I mean, not like struck like it hurt my channel, but just it demonetized my video, which I think is very funny. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Normal thanks. <laughs> or I guess special fuck you. Special fuck you to confetti. That's right. Amazing. The future. The future! Oh, whoops. I realized I took my, my thing off the screen. Just a second. <laughs> <laughs> what are they doing? Hold up. <laughs> Is this a handcuff thing? Is this a handcuff thing? Yeah! <laughs> oh my god. She's already got gray hairs. This is uh this is what oh I expect of a Noel. I'm not Adorable. shocked, you know. Adorable. <laughs> oh, I love them. Excuse me. That's not shocking. That's actually absolutely no. not shocking. Yeah. Are they, wait, okay, can I I can't we can't see far enough. Are they using real handcuffs? That's the first problem. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, if they're talking about bowl cutters, then yeah. They must I mean, be using I, a real not one. plastic, I guess. Yeah. Sky. 
skunky. Oh my god, because of her oh graying hair. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Skunko pop. Oh. This is what romance Aww. is like to me. <laughs> oh my god, of course Noel is like against wearing makeup conceptually. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, they're gonna fight over it. Oh my god. <laughs> when Makar says, you're stupid. I love that in a woman. <laughs> yeah. God damn! Go off! And folks, Drag it turns her. out it turns out that this was a setup for the new Frog and Toad uh, series coming out this year. Did you see that? I did not see that there was a Frog and Toad. They're making more Frog and Toad. Wow. It was like when they brought back Pingu like a couple magic? years ago. Yes. I hope so. Damn. <laughs> Incredible. Amazing. Fantastic Noelle Karsha fanfic ending. Wow. To be fair, that's the, that's the only one we really need to know how it turned out. Yeah. We knew how no, we knew how the other two were turning out. Yeah, oh, so get, good. All we had to learn is that Minikatana. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, wow. I love butterfly soup. Yeah, butterfly soup is really nice. I think that it's it's very sweet. It's very understanding. And I think this one, more so than the other, is sort of about... Like, the first one is, feels like it's about like the friends coming together despite their differences. And this one is about them truly connecting based on their their similar pasts, right? Yeah. We need Butterfly Soup 3. Now they go to college. That's right. Oh, what a mess it would be. Can't imagine them in college. But yeah, no, this was this was really so fun. Much. I think that, you know, I think that the fact that they all sort of bond over an uncomfortable like family life the undue expectations put on them and recognize that like life exists beyond that you know yeah I thought this one was a lot more like a lot more it cut a lot harder than the first one uh, yeah which was was good if it feels you know I mean not that the first one was not mature but this this feels more mature than, than the a first one they're growing up the girls are growing up yeah. But like, yeah, oh, no, it's just, it's it's very, it was very nice, you know, again, not, it it's not unsympathetic, you know, towards the, the plight of, of parents in these situations, but also understands that like, their perspective is so grossly different, right? Um, yeah. Noelle's mom brings it up, right? Like, you don't realize that you're just a, you're just in a different culture, right? You you raise American kids; they have different values, different understandings, they different perspectives, and it's just impossible, uh, in some extent, to ever perfectly reconcile that. You know? Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna take uh, it takes a lot of a lot of work. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> 
Yeah, happen. it's it's it was a lot a lot of um, meditations on all the kids' relationships with their parents, um, or you know, and all the parents introduced as characters um, from the you know from the first one. We actually get to like see more about all their parents and their family, what that's like, and uh, yeah, it was it was interesting. It was a lot of a lot of tragic stuff, a lot of stuff that you know. Who can say what's going to happen because they're still so young, uh, but they've got, you know, a lot, a lot of work ahead of them for sure. Yeah. But I like that epilogue, like, but they made it, they made it through. They made it through okay. Yeah. No, and it's, again, it's really good. I, I, and I really love the way that these characters interact. Again, it feel, it evokes... Um, at least for me, and I assume to some extent, uh, kind of everyone has not dissimilar experiences to this in high school. Certainly, um, how positive you look back on it is going to be something that's uh, dependent on the person. But, you know, I, I play this and I, I think a lot about other experiences I've had in similar situations. And it's, it's really nice, you know, like, and. God, I do not wish I was a teen again, you know? Yeah, God. I, I'm so glad I'm past that. But, like, it reminds you... It reminds me of a lot of the, the joy of being just old enough to start really grasping the world around you. Mm-hmm. You know? Um, and that... that unbearable demonic energy that high school children have when they they hang out and when they do stuff together and the ways in which they interact you know yeah yeah it it is really a a specific time that once passed is never fully re-experienced the the same way again yeah and I I understand like I don't get it but I understand people who are like high school was the peak of my life you know because it is this sort of weird precipice where you have just enough freedom to start really exploiting that, uh, but not enough wisdom to recognize <laughs> better things for you to do. Mm. Right, A says high school was not a good time, but there were good times, and that's what this feels like. And I think that that's it, right? Like, it is able to capture a specific feeling of high school that feels better than it probably was as a whole, right? We get to avoid a lot of that in this story for the sake of these characters. Mm-hmm. But it does remind you, I think, of of good times, and it reminds you of friends in a way that, I don't know, feels good, you know? I, I like being able to occasionally tap back into those feelings in both positive and negative, right? Like, yeah, I, 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 really I certainly like had conflicted to... feelings about parents and you know my my relationship with others and stuff you know we all go through stuff and it's it's so interesting to be able to kind of recontextualize that through a story that i would say gets teens better than a lot of teen media does you know this isn't like a riverdale right like this this feels <laughs> written by someone who has been to yeah, high school right lived experience yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's about a lived experience and uh yeah very heartwarming and um i think it's a it's a good like i think when you write about your experiences even when they're very specific the result ends up being quite universal because there are a lot of universal relatable human emotions in any sort of story of like coming of age growing up mm. you know difficulties and uh and I, yeah i like i mean i like it a lot yeah this was really a great game it. i think again it really did build on um the first one in a way that again not that the first one wasn't mature but it, it feels more mature it feels like it's doing a lot more in the exact same amount of time you know Mm-hmm. For sure. I, I love these <laughs> Ray, so some people were prom queen IRL and it shows. <laughs> oh, buddy. <laughs> uh, 
I wasn't I wasn't prom queen till I was in college. I didn't even go to senior prom. Oh boy. I got nothing gamer. junior, you know. <laughs> uh, you know, they didn't they didn't release any DLC between those times, so Yeah. <laughs> Ray Hay says other no. non subversive media. Teens are hot and clever and selfish. Real subversive media like butterfly soup. Teens are cringe and dumb. Agreed. Yeah. That's we true. Love See it. that's that's the thing too, right? Is you look back and you're like, oh, this is embarrassing. But in like an affectionate way, right? Like Yeah, we've looked This is the kind around. of stupid you can get behind. It's important to reconnect with your past self uh, as you get older. I feel like to really recalibrate your mind on both how you feel about how you were at that age and also how much you've changed. Yeah, for sure. That I think that's the interesting thing, right? Is like you can look back at it and just go, look at how different I was to who I am now. And you can see, I think especially you know maybe maybe it's me more than others but like i could definitely see how much i've grown from in high school but still go like damn high school is like the first time i started to formulate thoughts and opinions of my own hmm. you yeah. know maybe some people got it earlier but definitely high school was sort of the first time i started to like think about things yeah i think so the media that you're consuming at that time yeah. You know, you're starting to pay attention to what's going on politically in the world. And, like, it start, you start to realize that it might actually affect your life instead of just hearing about it. You start to acquire tastes in media. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. People in the chat were po po pointing out earlier that Homestuck started in 2009. Wow. Rip. But yeah, the um, it, it, it's the same feeling that reminds me a lot of like when I uh, well uh, on on recordings I uh, for the podcast Six Feet Under I ran a game of Monster Hearts two when that came out, and that uh, we very much leaned into uh, playing ourselves when we were in high school and like elements of ourselves uh, when we were in high school in different ways, and. Uh, it was a really fun exercise uh, also because at the end, even the people who are like, oh, I, I can't believe it. I was so I was so embarrassing. Well, you know, I'm so embarrassed about the person that I was at that time. Um, after they had a chance to revisit it, uh, they were like, you know, I'm really glad I did that. Like, I feel like I made more peace with the person I was back then. And I feel like this is that same kind of exercise with these all these like cultural deep cuts. It like. It, you go back and you and you realize that now you look back on it with affection because we're so old now. We uh, yeah, and again we've 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 grown past we it, right? It's not like it's in the moment and you feel like, oh man, that was that sucked ass. Presumably, yeah. we also did a bunch of shit that sucked ass in high school. Um, you develop yeah. a lot and of I thoughts, but you don't necessarily develop a lot of empathy yet. Yeah, so, and I think like you know. when when you're in your 20s, um, like especially like early 20s, you look back on your high school self and you're like, oh, I'm so embarrassed. That's so embarrassing. And then I think as you start to get older, at a certain point, uh, you at a certain point, people that age fully become kids to you. Um, and then when you th and then you kind of have you make a more of a mental shift of like, oh, I was also a kid, like. I'm thinking about, like, how do I think about 16-year-olds now? How can I possibly, like, feel like, oh, I was so, like, I was so awful in a way that mattered when I was 15 or 16 years old, when if I came across and interacted with a 15 or 16-year-old on the street, I would not judge them by the same parameters that I would judge an adult or yeah. myself. Um, and you sort of make that mental, that, that mental leap. But it, it comes as you, you get further and further away from it. And I'm sure it's the same process, you know, throughout for forever. Um, I'm not super embarrassed about the person that I was in college, but like, I'm sure I could find something to be embarrassed about. Uh, oh, yeah. I, <laughs> look, I sucked ass I in college. Process. Yeah. Look, life doesn't really start until you're 30. <laughs> be being in being in your 30s is is great. Uh, uh, you know, in terms of like like self-confidence and like life satisfaction you know it's supposed to get better every decade as you get older 
um, as you you know know more about who you are and you care less about what other people think. Azure Petricor is correct. I've never stopped being cringe. I just changed what type of cringe I am. And that yeah. cringe, it's based. Wow. Think about it. Low key. <laughs> uh, this is good though. No, I had a good time. Yeah. Ah, uh, I just I'm I'm glad that there was a second butterfly soup. I love the yeah. butterfly soup cinematic universe. And if you like feeling good, having good times, cozy times, I got great news for you. Next game, next game, next game. That's right. Let's quit Butterfly Soup 2 because we have something very special to talk about. So, next game. We've already picked it out. We knew this one was short, so we had something prepped ahead of time. Everyone, get excited. Because next time, next week, we'll be playing a video game. And not just any video game. A game we previously played a demo of. That's right, it's Please Be Happy by Studio if Elon. it makes you happy. Were you waiting for that one? It can't be that bad. I was waiting on it. Thank you. <laughs> Anyways. Next time, we'll be playing Please Be Happy. You you may remember this. We played a demo of it previously. We'll be playing through all that again because I don't remember anything. It's probably better for the everyone else, too, you know? Yeah, it's about a, a, a fox girl. It is gay. Oh, yeah, it's gay. Uh, it's a fox, a fox girl who uh, is exploring a town, and she meets uh, a, a, a girl who works in a coffee shop, and she meets uh, a mysterious girl... In, works at the library, library or lives at the library yeah but yeah and, a and it takes place in australia <laughs> yeah oh new zealand sorry but yeah no yeah, it's, it um, takes place in a real place like in, yeah. in our world in a real place and there's like yeah they go to places don't know happens. about a real so, yeah. time we'll have to find out if they reference uh, obama being president but um <laughs> yeah we'll we'll tourism yeah. as well it seems like it's it's very much like a feel good story about community, right? Finding finding a home, finding a place. Yeah, it seems like just like a fun vacation, like a quaint vacation type of yeah. story as well, in a way. Even though, like, yeah, uh, yeah, just cute, but um, yeah, it is gay, so don't worry. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. We're not playing a straight game again yet. Not yet. We're giving you a break. Because next time we'll find an insane one. That's the thing. We just need more insane straight people games. Yeah, we have so many like good queer games of games that we could pick from. But let's find another ridiculous. We just need a be real sicko game. game. It's finally time to play hentai on the stream and get banned. No. <laughs> we can find something else. Uh, just sicko freako, you know. Yeah. Still with a with a female protagonist, but uh, yeah. But no. <laughs> it says a real cis they them games. You're right. <laughs> yeah, we need a we need a game where we can return to being games Cameron, the first cisgender they them. <laughs> yeah, I mean we've got plenty of time. I, I think but please be happy is reasonably long. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we'll be finding that out a, with this you. Was a, yeah, this was a cozy cozy game or whatever, which was like a a kind of a weird like weirdly like controversial thing no but wholesome the is the word is you're thinking of wholesome wholesome games yeah which is a weird thing but it's definitely cozy cozy it's definitely fine. cozy yeah so it's, light, you know, it's, it's, it's the beginning of the year yeah let's um, take it easy we're not we're not here to challenge ourselves here at the beginning of the year yeah it's we don't cold need it outside no. the weather sucks like and as far as i can just... tell it doesn't do a bait and switch like cafe on shante where it turns out <laughs> that everything's <laughs> yeah, we don't actually become insane the cafe at the end we don't become yeah. a pocket dimension we don't we don't have God. to we, our cop our cop boyfriend doesn't become like a half demon <laughs> oh my god uh if you have not uh if you were not around for our playthrough of cafe on shante Woof. uh <laughs> I highly recommend uh, watching it. Uh, not necessarily every single episode because there's a million of them, but, but like oh my everything God. happens in the most way possible. The true route 
bad bad it's bad the true route is is not i don't guess i guess not the worst route but it might be it might be the most unsatisfying and and like disappointing of all the routes like true finale maybe (sighs) oh my god um but yeah it was it was whack yeah the spoilers at the end you become the cafe derogatory that's look that's what happens when you let work define your life yeah oh my god and like not even in like a and she has full control of her abilities but like in a scary way where she like doesn't know what she's doing still and we're just left to left to hold that yeah um anyway that's the, enough cafe on Tontade derail that's we right can, it's time for please be happy about it later please be well, happy Positive feelings, emotions. That's right. Vibes. Nothing but good vibes. If I see any rancid vibes coming from anyone besides the hosts, you're banned, buddy. <laughs> um, another great drawing by me, uh, encapsulating me and Chorps Away's friendship in an image. Um, yeah, make it subversive. <laughs> For two dollars, you too can make it subversive by subscribing to the channel. <laughs> Folks, I think in your life you should always strive to make it subversive. Maybe that should be our new like tagline. <laughs> Date night, make it subversive. That's like right. Like Burger King, have, have it, it your, your way. way. Yeah. <laughs> is our make of coffee? No, the coffee is shooting out because of the the pressure coming out of the the vacuum hose. <laughs> I've replaced my vacuum hose with a coffee dispenser so that I could better serve my friend a nice hot cup of coffee. <laughs> To serve normal man. style. That's right. Opa normal style. <laughs> I see you wanted it normal style. Oh, oh, oh. Here it is. Anyways, we'll see y'all next week. That'll be five dollars. Until next time, I've been Chorps Away. I've been Devious Vacuum. And this has been Date Night. And you are the stars. Sweet dreams. And Games Cameron.